Here we are at the Rogues Gallery for the January 2011 exhibit, Brian Hurt and the Sixth Gun. We were lucky to have the first two issues of the Sixth Gun available for display and purchase. And while we had them arranged in page order, issue number one all the way across the top around the room and issue number two along the bottom around the room, this slideshow is going to be backwards. We're starting at the end and working forward. Most of the pages didn't have splashes. They, they were more multiple panels. No giant images. They more focused on telling the story than being flashy and trying to, to wow you with one giant panel. Brian Hurt doesn't feel the need to do that. His art is very expressive and his storytelling is great. One of the most fun elements is his use of lettering in the panels. You'll see sound effects all over the place. Not only does he pencil and ink and color most of the work, he colored the first five issues of Six Gun, he also does all the lettering. All the dialogue is done on a computer after the fact, but as you can see, all the sound effects occur within the panels themselves and actually break the panel borders and become just as much of a design element as the characters and the settings themselves. Colin Bunn gets to write some pretty great sound effects and Brian has a lot of fun making them all work on the confines of the page. There's our exclusive print done for us by Brian. Again, pencil, inks, and colors by Brian Hurt. All prints signed by Brian Hurt and Colin Bunn. There's a lot of great artwork on these walls. 22 pages of issue 2, 24 pages of issue 1, both covers, and a couple of ad pages, a couple of promo images as well. One of the things I noticed looking at his art is all the blacks, they're not solid. The large areas of black color he colors by hand and he leaves a lot of negative space, lines or dots, different designs depending on what he's trying to represent. And it comes off really adding another dimension to the art. He really captured the Old West really well. Oh, what a great splash. Look at that. Uh, not a splash page, but a pretty big image for a page. The use of negative space and positive space balances very well. I cannot say enough great things about the way Brian Hurt draws this book because it's spectacular. And I was a fan of the book, we were all fans of the book, when it first started, but you don't get a sense of how much care and love goes into it until you see the original, full-size, uncolored art. So dramatic, so fun. Look at that, panel borders aren't necessary at all times. Oh man, he really sets the scene so well with just shade. It's almost hard for me to talk about these pages because I'm, I get stuck just looking at them and not paying attention to what I should be doing, which is narrating. If only we had a way to get rid of those reflections. We don't need to see the exit sign on everything. But better that than not seeing the pages at all. Whoa! Quick turn all around the room. I like how you can see the opposite wall reflected in the frame covers. Getting toward the beginning. Oh man, the hanging tree. That stuff was so great. Look at that. The gun in the foreground. All the bottles of whiskey in the background. Whether it be a crowd or single figures, he really has a way to capture mood. Oh, so good. 
So spooky. Yeah, really, the art just speaks for itself. It's not a whole lot you need me here for. This is it, setting the stage, page one, issue one. And now, issue number one cover. Each cover is done in two pieces, put together in the logo across the middle. And here's a cover to issue number two. And there you have it. The Six Gun Exhibit at the Rogues Gallery in January 2011. Our thanks to Cullen Bunn and to Brian Hurt for making the trip out from St. Louis to Chicago for this event and for giving us such great work, both on the printed page and on the drawing board.